and welcome back. It's time for the new episode. I'll read the note first. 1st July, 1839. Today I went to the university looking for answers. I was able to sneak into Herbert's office and pick up an address book along with some relevant textbooks. Professor Taylor at the Faculty of History was very helpful and I managed to approach the subject of the orbs. The most interesting aspect was the prevalent trace they had left in our culture. The mythic orbs may in fact have inspired the Globus Cruciger, which so many royal regalia holds to this day. In ancient times, the orbs were held by priests as a symbol of the sun and its power. As I was leaving, I overheard a disturbing conversation. Sir William Smith, the geologist, was killed last night. Less than a fortnight had passed since I'd asked for his expertise. I know it's silly, but I can't help feeling responsible somehow. Okay. Anyway. Use Tinder to keep myself from burning out my oil. Shut up. Alrighty. Eight above. Eight below. Let's turn you to one. And turn you to one. Two, two, five, five. Buraksha. Check it downstairs. Fine. Hello? Anyone in here gonna try to kill me? Go ahead and refill some oil. Aha. July 1839. I've read every book I can find on the subject. While rich in legend and hearsay, my knowledge is lack for the insight I crave. I've sent letters to many in Herbert's address book and received answers of varying importance. Today, I got one which differed greatly from the others. From a baron in Prussia. He said nothing about the quaint stories of priests in underground temples. He didn't even mention them. He simply wrote, I know. I can protect you. Come to Brennenburg Castle. Signed, Alexander. What am I to make of this? Protect me from what? Is someone after me? I looked up Brennenburg and traced it to the Prussian woods near the Baltic Sea. While being the least informative letter I've received, it causes me greatest distress and interest. As I write, my thoughts are drawn to my nightmares in which a most disturbing sound calls to me. A sound defying description. A voice from the void. The last few weeks have been awful, with so many sleepless nights dreading a repeat of those horrid dreams. Tomorrow, I shall visit my physician, Dr. Tate, in hope that he can provide me with sedatives to help me sleep. Another note. Note that there are only two spare rods left in the storage for the elevator machinery. Make sure to only discard the ones which are badly damaged and keep the others in the inner study room in case all three would crack again. Well, we got one. Shut up. No chest. Tender. Come on. Let's. There we go. Alrighty. I got one rod, so I'll go ahead and place it. Flow cycle rod. I'm guessing that's 
the circle. So I've got to go to the storage room to get the other rods. Okay. Check down here. And another note. 17th of July, 1839. How has this escaped me? They're all dead. Limbs scattered, head split down the middle, their skin flayed as if boiled. I feel like I'm falling into myself. What's happening? Sir William Smith? Professor Taylor, now Dr. Tate. Is it following me? How can it not be? It's the damn thing I brought from Africa. Something is after me. I have no choice but to trust the Baron. He better know what he claims. If he is wrong, I suspect he'll regret it as well. Unless well, the one bringing it on you, but you know, that's a whole nother matter. Always be suspicious of people that you're supposed to trust in these games. This thing is missing gears. Oh look, there's a gear. It's a, dare I say it, a metal gear. <laughs> Sorry. Oh my god, metal gear. Spoke. Do you have this spoke? Yes, you do. I like well lit rooms. I'll call that one Rex. So we gotta find more gears. And the frame rate keeps dropping, which is annoying. Oh hi Ray. on this one? No. Do you fit on this one? Yes you do. Ray has found his home. And moving on. I knew I saw one in here. I'll call you Arsenal. Slowing down. You fit on this one? Yes, you do. One more, looks like. Tinder. Oh, two tinders. How did I miss these? Okay, where's the other gear? 
know there's another gear because there's an empty spoke. Stop dropping frame rate. You're annoying. Oh. It's gotta be somewhere around here. Just gotta keep looking. somewhere. Or is there not another gear? Needs more work before it will run. Shovel. Meat coal. Well, fine. I'll just pick up the coal myself. Stupid shovel. Needs more coal. I'm sure it does. Stop dropping frame rate. Drop frame rate, otherwise I'm gonna kill you. I will kill you frame rate. You don't want that. You don't want to know how I'm gonna do it. Burner's now full of coal, okay? Close you. And burning. I don't see any more spokes. more work does it need? I guess I just need to get those other rods. So, I'll be doing that uh, next session. See you later.